sampan have been made here for decades. It's an important part of who we are on the island. I'm the only one who can make the, the sampan. My name is Tadal Maswari. I was born on the island. For the island boys, I'm the oldest here now. In the early days, there were crude boats made with wooden plates and iron. The first sampan appeared in the 1920s. They were slow and stable. A man from Ambon named Hassan bin Ali built it. The tree, I want to pick the tree. The thickness, it depends what, what size sampan you're going to build. That one is good for like sampan, small sampan. The tree itself is called a gyro, um, Gyrocarpus americanus. It's a sampan tree. Uh, it's pretty soft wood inside it as well. Uh, everything's going to be soft. So what Father is doing now is blessing the um, tree. It's a courtesy for us to make sure that you, you enter a house, you always say hello. So basically that's what we're doing. Oh, it's very important because this blessing is the spirit, sometimes there's a spirit on that area. So I had to shift somewhere. Otherwise, you know, if you don't do that, you might, when the field, I mean, the trees fall, maybe we got sick or something like that. This original tool. <laughs> Before we use sampan for fishing, and now modern we use, we got this aluminum boat. So the sampan I want to do is for the kid to know what we're doing during the old days. A hundred years ago, sampans became very popular. In the 1940s, there were 25 on the island and were the only boats used by the Malays for fishing. The uprising, the first uprising, is built by Saleh Omar Din. 1988, during the first cyclone, hit by the cyclone, we parked at the front of the Malay Club, the waves hit and got damaged there. It's important to teach this kid the skill to keep the culture alive. When he's doing it, there be a lot of crowds looking at what's going on. What else? Main thing is to try and get this drop down to the other generation. That's why I brought Azmi, Lan, and Osman. All that, my crew. I show them what to do. <laughs> Yeah, once the sampan is made, whoever want to use, they can use it. So we basically want to try and get all the young ones to, to know what our culture is. I mean, this is what we started off with, uh, with the sampan. To get the kids uh, so involved, and even by, by means of painting or by means of doing a little bit. Once we finish the boat, and before we launch it, our Imam leads the blessing. It's a blessed the Sampa. Keep the fishermen safe at all times, bringing luck and fortune. And most importantly, our religion, our culture, and acknowledging and appreciating how blessed life is. History plays a part in anybody's lives, you know, and when you see this type of thing go away, you, you're missing a lot. You're losing a lot of stuff. I'm so proud. My sampan on the island can bring the community together. It's how we connect to the water. It's how we connect to the marine park. 
We could lose this tradition. It's important to teach the skill, the skill to keep the culture alive. The community, they're part of its creation. Then they watch us use it to fish. It's how we carry our history and traditions on. <laughs> <laughs>